Hello, Future Lion. I am Beth Eppinger. I am the Director of Housing and Residential Life at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our housing website and our housing application. So as you can see here, we are on the main UAFS webpage. Right in the middle of the page is current students. And then in the middle of that section under campus life is housing and dining. So with housing and dining, I'll tell you a little bit about dining right now. You can see we have a link right there about our dining. We have an all you care to eat facility that is adjacent to the lion's den. So if you have any dietary needs or food preferences, you'll be able to get that in the dining hall. They can make meals to order, as well as they'll always have pizza, burgers, deli, salad, home entrees, and desserts. So also with dining, there is the food court in our campus center with Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and more. So you can always be rest assured that you'll find food on campus. Now with housing, if you want to live on campus, your first step is to apply. And on this main page here, you click on the yellow button. And in fact, if you go to any of these pages, you'll see the yellow button, complete a housing application today. We accept housing applications every day of the year. There is no deadline, but of course, if there is a certain room type you want or a roommate, the sooner you apply, the better. Now, let's pretend you clicked on this housing application. You would then be required to log in with your UAFS information. So let's pretend you just logged in. You would then see your login page. It would look just like this. Now, if you've never lived on campus, you wouldn't have your room assignment here yet. To get a room assignment and roommates, you need to first apply. So you are looking for the fall 2020 new resident application. Click get started. And the first page is instructions, pretty standard stuff. But then as you can see on the left, there'll be more information, your housing options, let's go look at that. So with your housing preferences, we first want to know where you want to live. Now, if you're a traditional age, first year incoming student, you'll be selecting the lion's den. And you're welcome to select north or south. They really are pretty much the same. So if you select north, it's going to next give you options on room types. So yes, I picked the lion's den and I don't have any other preferences. Okay, more stuff. But as you work through this, we tell you about meal plans, your preferences. If you have any certain housing accommodations, there is a $75 application fee, and that's due when you submit your application. So we need that with your application to lock it in. And then of course you'll review it and submit it. And then you'll receive a email confirmation, and in a few weeks time, you'll receive your room assignment information. And of course that's where you'll go back to your main screen. At that point, you'll see your roommate and your room information. Now let's say, you did not complete the application. You're gonna come back to it later. Well, then you're gonna see this outstanding invoice on your main page. Don't worry about clicking on that. To finish your application, just go back down to continue next to the application. Now let's go back to the housing site. Other things in the housing site include under future residents, move-in information. And that also includes when you can move in as well as what to bring and how to outfit your new room. Of course, you always wonder how much will the room cost? How much will the meal plan cost? And you'll find that under housing rates. Your room and board are billed to the same account as your tuition and fees. So you can set up a payment plan with the university and also your financial aid will help cover your housing and dining as long as your tuition and fees are covered first. Under living options, we have two options to live on campus. We have the Lions and Residence Hall for our traditional first year students, as well as some upperclassmen, and then Sebastian Commons Apartments. Now, as you can see, there's amenities, meal plans, prices, floor plans, parking for each facility. But one of my favorite parts is the, is the prices section. You may say, that's a little strange, but here's why. 
on the prices page are tours of each suite type we have in the lion's den. So if you come to this page, you can click on those videos and see what the suites and the rooms actually look like at the lion's den. Very fun. Now under resources, there is contact information and meet the housing staff. So this is where we'll end. Under all these resources, under all this contact information, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. There's my picture, there's my information. I look forward to seeing you on campus this fall.